I can't believe we oh. ran into Simu just now at Simu Tang. Literally. What the? Hi friends, come eat through Shilin Night Market with me today. This is part two of my Taiwan vlogs. We have some locals with me who will show me the must eats of this night market. Let's go! First stop is at the Tan Kao Ji Pai Stan. The line was so long, but I can see why. These chicken cutlets are bigger than my face, crispy and smothered in their special barbecue sauce. Tina's first time trying Woo! the Tan Kao Ji Pai, yes! famous barbecue chicken. It's so tender and moist, and then the barbecue sauce complements it so well. Oh my god. And it's so fresh because they just fry it right there. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pick a third one. Oh, yeah. another bite. Yeah, girl. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 yes. <laughs> so, 9 Sweden. out of 5. <laughs> Introducing our special guest, Sweden. Hi, Sweden. Take my two. Mm -hmm. It's like Hot. the meat is so thick mm. and it's so juicy. It's not dry at all. Not at all. Mm -hmm. And it's not super super fried. There's just like a, this nice thin, thin barbecue sauce. Barbecue glaze. Yes. Okay. Good. Claiming to be the OG creators of the big sausage wrapping small sausage, let's give this a try. So basically, it's like a big sausage wrapping around the small sausage. It's Judy's favorite. Good. Because I love sausage in general, yes. Alright, this is another Taiwan staple, okay? Nowhere else has this but Taiwan. There's no hot dog bun. Gluten rice sticky sausage as the bun wrapped around the real meat sausage. Alright, we're gonna try Judy's favorite sausage. Yes. I love me some sausage. This was a vessel of multiple textures from the mushy sticky rice on the outside to the hot dog exploding with crispy garlic pieces and aromatic green onions, it was a scrumptious mouthful of savory goodness. <laughs> it's hot, huh? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, she got a little dance going. <laughs> Everything fried tastes good, even milk. So we have some da xian nai, which is fried milk. We have exactly three, and we have three people. Hot. Yes. Oh, fried hot yeah. milk balls. Oh. Fried milk on a stick. <laughs> oh, safe, safe. Mm, that's safe. Mm, good. All right. At first, I didn't taste anything. But then the more it sat in my tongue, I taste the sweet milk. Good crunch on the outside. So, mm. all right. Give it like a eight point five. Oh, oh okay. eight point five. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Not bad. I'm a harsh critic. That's why. Oh. <laughs> not too sweet either. For those of you who think it's really sweet, it's not too sweet. It's like a good amount of sweetness. Next, we have the quirkiest dessert that has ever landed on my taste buds. It's the peanut cilantro ice cream roll. They start by shaving a bunch of peanuts, stacking it on top of the thinnest crepe-like wrapping paired with ice cream and cilantro. Y'all heard me, cilantro. You can choose two flavors. We chose strawberry. A lot of peanut shavings. Mm. 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 It's interesting. I don't know about the cilantro yeah. though. <laughs> Alright, we are in line for this place well known for their oyster omelette and cake. And it's called Zhongchen Hao Ba Jian. We will be eating what they're famous for, which is the A Jian, which is an oyster omelette pancake. Another staple in Taiwan for street food. The mouth-watering gravy marinades over the egg omelette filled with oyster and lettuce. No pressure! <laughs> no pressure! The egg was so fluffy despite the gooey texture and rich in flavor from the gravy, the oyster, everything. <laughs> very like, gooey. Very gooey. Very gooey. Very gooey. Mm -hmm. She called it snot earlier. <laughs> yeah, slimy, snotty, all of that. It's definitely a hit or miss Yeah. with I the texture. I like it though, honestly. It's, it's pretty good. It kind of tastes like mochi. Like this stuff right here. That's the, the gooey stuff. Mm -hmm. 
a lot of flavors. Mm. Mm. Wow, I thought I held my chopstick weird. Damn, girl. You know, I, I never like how to hold your chopstick. Like, so, oh. so I hold it like a pencil. No, no I hold it like a, a pen too. Oh, but, really? But like, but you're like. How do you hold it? I, I hold it like this. this, this like, I mean, it's like a almost the same. No, girl, your fingers were like this effort. <laughs> And people have tried to teach me, but it feels so uncomfortable. Today we are eating at Kaoro Cha Cha, which is a common place where you have your own stall to barbecue by yourself. If I was a judge on Worth It, I would definitely name this my winner. Like, come on, $30 for a whole Wagyu set? Wagyu meats, Wagyu fried rice, your choice of soup, I chose clam, three side dishes? You will not find that in the US. Let's start cooking. Three minutes total cook time. Do not overcook on the Wagyu as that will ruin the marbling. On our selection, we have Wagyu beef diaphragm, Japanese A5 Wagyu, Wagyu shoulder blade, beef tongue, and chicken. While waiting for the meats to cook, I tried out the Wagyu fried rice. So savory. Seems like they melted some Wagyu fat in there. Very tender meats as well. All the meats were literally melt in your mouth. Amazing. And I paired it with garlic pieces as well. Currently oh. we're at Shimin, right? Yes. Shimin Ding. It's definitely known for a very young student type of vibe. Okay. Um, it's very much... Wait, do you cover me? I met you over there. No. Wait. Oh my god, wait. We actually do have it in the US, but I want to try it out here to see if it's any different. I got their brown sugar boba, which is their number one selling, so let's try it out. Honestly, it just tasted like milk, not even that sweet, and the boba was just alright. <laughs> I can't believe we ran into Sue just now at Sifu Tong. Literally! What the no, we were just trying to get some boba. Yes. Hello. Hello. Dude, he's trying to get some boba too. I was outside of Shifu's house trying to get some boba. I, I, my heart was pounding so fast when we asked him. Is this, this, this girl, baby? this girl couldn't even talk. She got yeah. so scared. Like, oh my god! Oh my god! What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> but I was like, we. It's either we do it now no, or, or never. never. I was like, I couldn't even. Think ah, I was like, dude. oh my god, should I take off my jacket? Like. I just got some mian xian from the famous Ajong mian xian. <laughs> About to put some garlic onto this. Yeah. Our breath is going to stink. That's good. That's good. <laughs> okay. Some vinegar? vinegar? Yes. I love me some vinegar. So we're going to give this a try. Judy says this is really good and I've seen it on several YouTube videos too. So let's give this a go. Wow, it is like a lot of flavors. I haven't tried the intestine yet. Let me try it. Mm. So good. Oh my god. I usually don't eat intestine either. So this is super good. Oh my gosh. The noodles are so soft. It was a mixture of sweet, sour, savory, all in one bowl of goodness. I really like the noodles. I honestly never had anything like this before. <laughs> Hey guys, so we are at Xi Men Ding and we are at Xi Fu Tan's Xiao Wen Bao. Apparently, they sell Xiao Wen Bao no at the Boba place, but this was only 100 NTD and that's like $3 US. That's crazy to us. And we're at a sit down restaurant with lanterns. Yes. Oh, that's like thick soy sauce. Yeah, yeah. so it's, it's soy paste. Soy paste? Yeah, yeah. So far, the skin. Doesn't look as thin uh, as usual, like as usual, like other shell mouths. But that's just judging the cover. So let's give it a real try. Um, I've definitely had better shell mouths, usually in Taiwan. Um, not a lot of soup. It was just like one droplet. The skin could be thinner, 
And I'm being very harsh with Xiao Longbao because there are just so many in Taipei and so many delicious ones that I, you just have to be harsher with judging a Xiao Longbao in Taiwan. So I would have to rate that a 6.95 out of 10, unfortunately. Wow. So, I mean, they should just focus Xiao Longbao with Xiao Longbao and Boba, Boba with Boba. <laughs> That's the moral of the story. I agree. I feel like the feeling, it was not too flavorful. And then, so the soy paste, I'm not used to because I also really like vinegar with the ginger. So, I also think it's like a 6. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also a really harsh judge though. I barely give tens to barely. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, it's not bad though for a hundred NT. It's like three bucks. You you can't complain too much.